Lights on Novus TV. I'm Natalie Langston. We are partying under the bridge here on Granville Island with Edible Canada's second annual Festival Under the Bridge. Relive the Olympics, catch all the Sochi action, sip, savor, and party the night away with live bands in true Canadian style. Tell us what Festival Under the Bridge is all about here tonight. Sure, so it's all about celebrating the, the glory of the 2010 games that we felt here in Vancouver when the games were on. You know, bringing everybody together, dressing in Canadiana, having some awesome bands, just having a really good kind of casual, relaxed atmosphere and just great times. Anything new for the second year this year? Yeah, we've got lots of new stuff this year. Uh, we have all the Olympics playing throughout the whole space. We have live bands. We have Granville Island Toy Company has provided a beautiful, beautiful kids area. Last year we did food trucks, this year we've got Savory Chef catering the entire uh, event. And we've also got a couple extra bars this year, a Caesar bar and a pierogies, top your own pierogies station. What are you looking forward to most over this weekend? Viper Central I think was, was the highlight for me. Uh, they're such a great band, they just totally fit the space and the feel that we're going for for this festival. Tomorrow night we're having an industry hockey game uh, to bring out kind of other restaurants and their teams to just kind of celebrate this time of year. We're all through Dino Vancouver and after a very busy Valentine's Day we can all just get together and have a really good time. What are some of your favorite events so far? Well I'm really excited about the hockey game tomorrow, that'll be really good. Yeah, hockey game tomorrow for sure, really excited about that. Have you caught some of this band so far? What do you guys think? The live music's awesome, it's so much fun. Yeah. Well, have fun, drink, eat, be merry. Perfect, thank you very much. We're here at Edible's famous Garnish Your Own Caesar Bar. Now tell us, what does it take to make a great Caesar? It takes a few things. Of course, it takes the best ingredients, high quality things, including the alcohol, the Clamato juice, as well as many of the other side garnishes, uh, and of course, the Caesar Salt Remy. Now do you want to take me through this? Of course. So first you have to get the glass room prepared for the salty. So I'm just going to get a little bit of citrus juice on here. I'm going to give the glass to you. And you get to choose any one of these high quality salts we have here. We have a very molten, very hot molten sea salt here. We have a regular sea salt as well as we have bacon sea salt. And this comes from a mola which we actually sell at a retail store just next door. Which is the most mild? Most mild is definitely the regular celery sea salt. And I, is there any technique to this or do I just go for Rotate it? Rotate and go for it. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So we're going to throw some ice in here. Now typically with a Caesar or any drink, you like lots of ice, you want to keep things cold. From here, it's actually a good hidden trick to actually start spicing your Caesar before you put alcohol in there so it coats around the glass because you like to sip on that and crunch it when you're drinking it, right? So first we're going to throw in the hot sauce. I'll put a little bit in here for you. So I'm just going to put a couple drops in there because you'll come through. You know what? This is my first Caesar. <laughs> Get out of here. Where are you from? How can you be wearing Canada garb, right? All right. Next you want Worcester. Now typically for a normal Caesar, I like to put in about five or six shakes of Worcester and half as much hot sauce. So that's right. Give her a couple more. Solid. That's good. Okay. Next we want to put in the alcohol. That's important. Oh yeah, that's the best part. And last, we're going to put in the Clamato juice. I've got some here. Actually, you can do that. I'll hold your mic for you. Go right. for it. Right? Tell me how much I put in here. Oh, certainly. You want to leave about an inch because you want to stuff some garnishes in there and that's going to change things. A lot of these items that we have here, we actually sell at a retail store, Edible Canada, just uh, on Granville Island. And the restaurant that's attached to it, if you actually dine there that day, use your receipt you get 10% off any of our items in the retail store, which is really neat. Awesome, that sounds great. Yeah, all the items are locally sourced or from somewhere in Canada, hence the theme, Edible Canada. Look at you, don't you feel really comfortable with this right? mic? This is good, I like this. <laughs> all right, you need to sip. This is the best part, this is right? better than the alcohol part. Yeah. All right, so coming to you from the Edible Canada house, this is you and Cameron and Natalie, the Caesar Slayers signing off. You bet, and uh, we couldn't have done a better job. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Be sure to check out all the Granville Island fun next year. Just go to ediblecanada.com for all the details. Thanks for watching. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Natalie Langston. <laughs>